Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me on Sealed for Good. Today we are talking how to measure film thickness with your wet film. Now those of you that use liquid membranes, film thickness is everything. It's the most important piece of what it is you do out there to ensure that you're going to achieve your membrane to specification. The advantage of a sheet membrane, it gives you a uniform thickness. So those of you that use our BRW or GC range don't have this issue. But when you use our liquid membranes and any liquid membrane, you should always know what your wet film thickness is. Now, the importance of a wet film thickness is that when you do this, how do you measure it? Many of you believe that your roller is a 10 or a 12 mil nap roller or a 15 mil nap roller and you put the film on the wall or the floor and believe you've got coverage, but how do you actually know? There is a lot of good apparatus out there that can help you measure this. There are really good dried film testers. However, that means you're gonna wait around for your job to finish. But speed is everything, we understand that. So we have our wet film gauge thickness measures, which many of you would use out there. And these are quite simple, because what happens is they measure the film while it's in a wet state. So let's say, for example, if you rolled out the membrane on the floor, you basically just push the gauge in, whatever the film is you're trying to achieve, 500 micron, which is half a mil, 1000 micron, which is one mil, whatever that film thickness is that you've been specified for. You can even do this with a, a primer like the E60. And you measure that and you can ensure that your wet film is to specification. Now, some of you might think, well, what if I just put one thick coat down? We never recommend one thick coat on any membrane because it is very difficult to achieve the film thickness in one coat. And what it does, it does allow for things that might not be uniform. So the second coat always gives you the correct coverage and it's just that extra guarantee and, and peace of mind. So what should you be looking for with your wet film? Well, besides using your coverage like so, what's really important, I'm going to show you something that actually we do in our laboratory when we test. And this is actually a gauge to ensure that the membrane is applied correctly. So this here, it's not from a checkerboard. This is actually an opacity card that our laboratory uses when we test any membrane film. And so I'm gonna show you some examples where this is our grip set 38 FC. And as you can see through that, you can actually see through the film. Now that's been put on at 200 micron, which is 0.2 of a mil. So when you can see through that in a dried film, that is a sign that you actually have not got the correct film thickness. Now what's important to understand is that sometimes between the wet and the dried film, it can vary. But the dried film, if you measured 200 micron, you're probably going to get, depending on what your membrane is, what solids it is, 50, 60, 70%, it's 70% of that. So let's work with round numbers. 50% if it's 200 micron, that means you're gonna get 0.1 of a mil dried film. And that's not gonna be enough because most specifications will show you one millimeter plus for a dried film thickness. So that's your gauge. Compare that when we go, to 300 micron now, okay? You can see it's a little bit more deeper or what we call opaque in the color connection, but still you can see through that. Now, if I show you the 500 mil, 500 micron, sorry, not 500 mil, 500 micron, which is a half a millimeter. That's the dried film. Sorry, that is the wet film thickness, okay? Now you can see that when you hold it up to the light, if I hold it up to the light, you can't see that, but if I hold that up, I can't see the black and white lines through here, but on this one I can see the black and white lines through there. That's the light showing through. Hence, that's the, the, the basic test that our lab does to ensure that when we know that when the membrane is applied to the correct film thickness, it's doing its job. Now, these are, these are, you are not gonna hold on a building site, but these wet film gauges are the key for you because they actually give you the guide. And it's a real good, good quality control method that if you're the supervisor in your crew or just you're a one-man show, you use this just to check in random areas and you can be certain that you've got the wet film as needed. And once you've got that, you've got peace of mind that first coat is done to it and some guys actually coat it and mark it down and we train them in the GAP program on how to do the quality control piece. And then your second coat as well. Now you might have a specification that might have three coats you mark every coat down that you've done with a gauge like that, and you know then, peace of mind, that you've reached the film thickness that you need. These are ideal whether you're using a solvent-based polyurethane, a cementitious system, 
a water-based SPR, water-based acrylic, water-based PU, or as I said, even a high build primer system. We even use these with our slurry coats for the 11 YDM sometimes. Really great tests, they're just so easy. And if you want one, get online for us and I'll make sure we send it out to you for free if, you haven't, if our sales guys haven't given it to you. But these are simple tools, keep them clean, they wash down real easy and use it on the next job, vertical or horizontal surfaces. So if you need any support or further assistance on how to measure your wet film thickness, don't hesitate to call our 1800 650 tech line or drop us a line. But it is real simple, guys. This doesn't matter where you sit in the chain, whether you're doing domestic residential uh, wet areas or you're doing multi-story high-rise roofs. You could be doing underground areas. You could be doing a, even a bitumen coating. Whatever that might be, these are the sorts of tools that you should have with you every day of the week. They should be in your toolbox. Use this and it's a real key to ensuring that you're getting that wet film. And then you can actually prove even to your client that you've got a quality control method, you've done random measures of it, and you've got that film thickness to be achieved. You can walk away from the job. Let's say you're being caught out in the winter months or on a cold day or high humidity up if you're up north. Even if the film hasn't dried, you know that with your wet film, you've achieved that thickness. And if anything comes up later and you've got an issue, example, you want to speak to manufacturers like ourselves, we can go through that process because these are the questions we'll ask you. It's a simple quality control process for yourself just to be, have that peace of mind and ensure that you're doing the, the job properly and also that you can actually highlight to your client that you are a quality waterproofing contractor and that's what's going to count, especially if you're using our products because we want the quality guys using our products. Any questions from our way? I'll see you next time on Sealed for Good.